This is your Midco Sports Network game recap from Frost Arena in Brookings, where South Dakota State's men have just beaten Fort Wayne 82 to 53 at Greg Steeman. And pretty much from the get go, it was all South Dakota State. Yes, yeah, soundly across the board, both ends of the floor. Uh, they turned them over, defended very well, and then just made things happen offensively. I just thought it was a very sound all-around effort by South Dakota State. Fort Wayne, we didn't know much about it. I haven't seen them a lot, but just watching scores, and they've got all those guys, five guys really back from last year's team that went to the Summer League Tournament Finals, but uh, just have been not able to get things going here early on in the season. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half of this one, and poor shooting from the get-go for Fort Wayne, and South Dakota State, meanwhile, came out and made its first four shots. Yeah, they, they were very hot. Yeah. Cody Larson started things off with a tough turnaround, but Everybody stepped up, telling Hughes from the three-point line, and, and uh, we saw an answer by Fort Wayne early. You know, they kind of kept it close, but just South Dakota State methodically pulled away. Tyson kicks out, finds Parks in the corner, and he buries a three. Ian Tyson, 10 points. He was perfect from the field, 3-3 three three at the free throw line. Jake Biddle uh, shot a well tonight, 4 out of 5. Michael Calder for Fort Wayne there. The, this was only two in the first half. He did end up with seven points, but uh, we don't see a lot of the turnovers here. And Fort Wayne just turned it over way too often tonight. They end up with 24 turnovers in the game, and that led to a lot of fast break points for South Dakota State. Yeah, it did. And even when South Dakota State didn't get the easy transition points out of them, they would convert in the half court. I just think it was one of those very confident, a very confident South Dakota State team out there that just in every aspect of the game, Fort Wayne can never really get any momentum. And uh, it's tough, as you talked about, an experienced team, but they just weren't able to get anything going and went in with a big deficit at halftime. The confidence is a hard thing to get and a yeah. hard thing to keep, but it's a huge deal when you're talking about college basketball players. So South Dakota State leads it 42-18 to 18 at halftime, and then they cruise in the second half. A little bit of life out of Yure Gunina off the bench for Fort Wayne. He comes in, hits a couple of threes, eight points, three rebounds for Gunina, but... Jack's always had an answer, George Marshall or DeAndre Parks, and just never really in doubt in the second half. Yeah, and that's a credit to South Dakota State. They never lost discipline. Biddle, four or five, you talked about all four, I think, were hard, difficult baskets, you know, physical finishes by on Biddle's part. Telling he's in there with a nice touch. Keaton Moffat attacks the rim. I just thought South Dakota State did a nice job of maintaining their discipline and that play where Benina scores under the basket. Nothing came easy for them tonight. <laughs> credit South Dakota State defensive. Anders Broman got some time. Skyler Flatten came in and uh, scored for the Jackrabbits. Zach Horseman, all those guys. Lane Severn got some time tonight. So did Keaton Moffitt. 16 good minutes tonight for him. And the Jackrabbits uh, win it 82-53 is the final. And here are the standings now on the men's side in the Summit League. South Coast State moves up to second. Uh, Oral Roberts lost on the road at Denver on Wednesday night, so the Golden Eagles dropped to 4-2. and two. North Dakota State is uh, at Fort Wayne on Saturday. We'll see if the Bison can stay on top. Yeah, credit to Coach Richmond and his staff with North Dakota State. He's done a great job after the, the manpower they lost last year. So I think it's going to be a really, really intriguing next three or four weeks just to see how these standings shake out. And, what kind, of, what kind of teams pick it up and, and go on a little bit of a run like South Dakota State has? And the tournament's going to be fun because you don't have any idea who's going to beat somebody on most nights in that thing. You don't. And, Especially and, and this year. Without question. And I think the value of getting that one or two seed and being able to play the first night and have the second night off, but even if you get the one or two, you got to play the seven or the eight, and that's not going to be easy. It's going to come down to see how these teams match up, but, boy, is it going to be fun to get there and watch that race as it develops. All right, South Dakota State wins it 82-53 tonight over Fort Wayne. That is your Midco Sports Network game recap.